We're on lesson nine, creating conversion tables to solve problems involving time. Go ahead and rate yourself with your learning goal before you move on. And you need these conversions. So a year is 365 days. One day is 24 hours. One hour is 60 minutes. One minute is 60 seconds. So a year is greater than a day, which is greater than an hour, which is greater than a minute, which is greater than a second. So hours to minutes. So one hour has 60 minutes. Three hours has 180 minutes. Six hours has 360 minutes. 10 hours has 600 minutes. 15 hours, let's see, 15 times 60. Basic fact, so six times 15. 30, 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3, so 90 add a 0, so 900 minutes. 18 hours and 60 minutes. Remember, I'm going to do the basic facts, 6 times 18, 18 times 6, 6 times 8 is 48, 6 times 1 is 6 plus 4 is 10, and then remember, I need to add that 0. 1,080 minutes, and then three, um, three hours had 180, well there's just a zero here, so it'd be 1,800 minutes. So the rule for converting hours to minutes is multiply by 60. Minutes to seconds, so one minute, 60 seconds, three minutes, 180 seconds, 6 minutes, 360 seconds, six, uh, 10 minutes, 600 seconds. This should be looking familiar to you. Um, let's see, 15 minutes would be 900 seconds, 1,080, and then 1,800. So converting minutes to seconds is multiply by 60. This chart should look very similar to the previous chart because you're both multiplying by 60. All right, days to hours. One day has 24 hours. Two days, you'd have to do two groups of 24, you get 48. Five days, I don't know 24 times five off the top of my head. So 5 times 4 is 20, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 is 12, so you have 120 hours. 7 days, I don't know 7 times 24 off the top of my head, 7 times 4 is 28, 2 times 7 is 14, plus 2 is 16, 168 hours. 10, that's easy, that would be 240 because it's a basic fact, right? 15, I don't know 15 times 24 off the top of my head. So I'll just do some quick multiplication. Remember, ones times the ones, ones times the tens, drop a zero. Tens times the ones, ten times the tens. So we have 360 hours in 15 days. And then 30. Um, I don't know 30 times 24 off the top of my head. I will use the basic fact, though. 4 times 3 is 12, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7, remember I have to add that 0 for 30, so you have 720 hours. So the rule for converting days to hours is multiply by 24. David's goal was to run a marathon under 6 hours. What was his goal in minutes? Well, we know that 6 hours... Okay, in order to convert hours to minutes, you multiply by 60, right? So 60 times 6, 6 times 0 is 6, 6 times 6 is 36, so that's 360 minutes. How many seconds are there in 14 minutes, 43 seconds? Well, remember minutes. you multiply by 60, right? I don't know 14 times 60 off the top of my head, so I'm going to do some basic math. 0, 0. 
drop a zero. Six times four is 24. Six times one is six plus two is eight. 840. So that's the 14 minutes, right? But we also have 43 seconds, right? So we need to add those. So we have three, eight, eight, 883 seconds. Tonight for homework, please solve these problems. Thank you so much for your hard work. Don't forget to rate yourself, and I will see you tomorrow.